world, turn off your television sets, turn them off now, turn them off right now, turn them off and leave them off, turn them off right in the middle of a sentence I'm speaking to you now, turn them off! Yo, yo, I never get tired of that intro. I just want to say, Ronnie Jam, I'm job chief. We are here. It is me, Deandra. I have Courtney. And look who it is, y'all. Who, who is this other yeah. person? It's yeah. like my memory might need to be jogged. What is your name, sir? To, to, to quote Michael Corleone, every time I try to leave, they keep pulling me back in. So they, they were like, hey, Ryan, we need well, my you. My mom complained. My mom yeah, complained. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, really, it's really Mama Sandy. Ex wow. Ex excuse here. me. So. Excuse me. Who said they needed you? Which, which person? Okay, stay on task. Let's. I, I, did you, Courtney, say no. that you needed? I don't remember. But okay, my mom but... did. My mom did threaten me. So. And we do everything for Mrs. Campbell. That's what Mama Campbell is one reason. of us. And if Mama Campbell says Ronnie's on, guess what? Ronnie's on. I, I'm here. I'm back. Mm -hmm. He's here. We are here to discuss Loki episode four, a Nexus event. This is on last week's episode. Now we like to start with general impressions. So guys, give it to me. What you think? Courtney, you first, of course. A lot happened. <laughs> I liked it. Uh, it. A lot happened. I was almost kind of overwhelmed <laughs> with, the, with the amount of things that were revealed and the Easter eggs. I, I had to kind of watch it twice because I'm just like, let me, I still need to take it. <laughs> Every it's not, I didn't, I really genuinely did not expect it because normally I know like we had a kind of like a development episode last episode, but I wasn't expecting like the. I was kind of expecting that to happen next episode. So I just was not mentally, emotionally, spiritually prepared for that. Spiritually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ryan, what about you? Yeah, to echo what Court said, you usually get this like information filled episode like later in the season. I wasn't expecting it for episode four. So yeah, um, a lot to break down, a lot of interesting things. Um, they're changing the dynamic of the show like really early on, so that's really interesting. And but yeah, there's a lot to talk about. And overall, like I, I really enjoyed this episode. Good, that's good to hear. Because the last episode, what did you call it? Did you call it mid? There I were a reason. There were reasons mid. Ron was not on. It was just because the show was not to his taste. I mean, mid. like I, I think he said, mid. I will say. Hold, he was hating, on. so I everyone enjoy, needs to start telling me I'm hating. I enjoyed the show overall. I just thought the previous episode was a little, a little, a little, a little bit of a snooze fest. It's fair. I think it is very important that we tell the truth on how we feel. We are not one sided. Run if you thought it was mid. I'm glad you are brave enough to say so, although you're wrong. <laughs> so we start with a baby girl, and it is from what I saw, it looked to me like she was just playing around, and I immediately thought, oh, that's Asgard. Like, it, it has mm -hmm. to be. I was like, oh, that's definitely Sylvie. It has to be Sylvie. Mm -hmm. And we see that Sylvie seems to be the one that got away. How did she get away? And who did she get away from? And how old is Ravona? Do they age? Do they just not? I mean... I think they're like because someone said in an earlier episode that the TVA, that realm, moves so slowly okay. compared to everywhere else. I think someone said like five hours to you is like years to everyone else. I forgot what episode that was. That may have been the first one. Yeah, and I would not be surprised if the TVA like headquarters like is in like the null time zone. Mm -hmm. So Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. And they could so also we, just like bring back the same variants over and over and over again too. That's that it. makes sense too, because now we know they are all variants. Speaking of, so Sylvie was a child and she got the best of Ravona and got away. So we now know that Sylvie has been running or hiding from the TVA for a very, very, mm -hmm. very, very and in long apocalyptic time. areas. So imagine mm -hmm. that you just grow mm -hmm. up in apocalypses. It's like the worst life ever. I hate it for her, but I mean, it is what it is. So um, Mobius B. Mobius is asking about C-20. And if you all recall, Hunter C-20 is the one who Sylvie took and enchanted and left and she behind. She's like, it's real. It's real. It's all real. So, And she was the one. She's like, I gave up the location of the timekeepers. And now I'm starting to think that 
because I was always wondering why Sylvie took her and why she left her. But it seems to me that she did that for this reason, to let people see, like to yeah, kind of plant a seed that, hey, this is what's happening and give people some doubt that the TVA is telling the truth. Because it looks mm -hmm. like that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Like the seed was planted um, by C twenty first of all, because nobody could really figure out what she was. Now, did y'all think she was dead though? I did. I feel. Like, I had a feeling they killed her because I feel like she figured out she was a variant. <laughs> I, I see that's I was what like, happened. But I, I was like, oh, <laughs> you guys move quick. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. I had a feeling they would have killed her as soon as like she kind of found out. Yeah, I believed her when she said she was dead, but I'm like, wait a minute, because she did seem incoherent and kind of out of it. But like Mobius was saying, she seemed by all means fine, not like mm -hmm. like psychotic, just kind of in a daze almost. But yeah, so the timekeepers or someone has killed C20. And um, we also find out yeah. that Sylvie is causing Nix's events. Now, this is a big deal because um, Rainy, you had a theory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a theory because about Wanda being that she is a Nix's being, she can cause Nix's events. Is that the case for Sylvie? Is she a Nix's being? So this is actually Damn. acting out like what I was saying with Wanda. So we're, mm -hmm. we're seeing it right now. So Sylvie's very existence is causing these events because she's not supposed to be in these timelines. But she can, for her to exist, she has to hop along these apocalypses. But yeah, which is such a which is such a weird word to put a plural on. But no, so so apocalypse is, die. Yeah, apocalypse. Yeah, so so yeah, her very existence is causing these events. So so yeah, it's cool seeing that played out because. I was kind of thinking this is what they would do with Wanda, but like we're actually seeing it through Sylvie right now. It's actually cool to see because like you said, the fact that she exists when she's quote, not supposed to has to set off events, right? Because mm -hmm. the very nature of the sacred timeline is that these things are supposed to e exist in this particular order and everything that is out of order has to be removed. And the thing is she's Being so dangerous. They removed her as a child before she even right. did anything. And to the right. point where uh, Renslayer wouldn't even tell her why. Yeah, because she's totally she lying knew. about it. She didn't she remember. Knew. She knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then so we, we see Loki and Sylvie having a moment and they're just kind of sitting and basking in the beautiful mess that is the destruction of this planet, the moon coming in to destruct this planet. And they're having a somewhat deep conversation and Sylvie's kind of telling him this is, you know, what happened with me and blah, blah, blah. Now, I want to make sure that I'm reading into this correctly. Sylvie is a Loki, but the the life that we saw Loki, our Loki leading, being on Asgard with his parents, Sylvie lived that life just in another timeline? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Asgard and all that, because I remember her saying, I remember Asgard and all this stuff. And she does because she is a version of our Loki. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Also, also let me let, let me let me let me drop let me drop like one little breadcrumb for for we proceed. The toy she was playing with, she had Thor riding a Valkyrie. Valkyrie. And, and, Ragnar and Ragnarok, Thor was like, Oh, I wish I was one of the Valkyries. So just want to I love that. that. I thought that was cute. Yeah. Um, so we see them having a talk and they're they're kind of discussing life and Sylvie saying how pretty much her life has been lonely in a way because she's gone from dangerous event to event, like Courtney was saying earlier, from like these are apocalypses. Now, not all of them, I think, were extinction level events or were they? Are they the same extinction level versus? It's, it's basically extinction level, but to what extent? Mm -hmm. Because so like yeah. the severity, like the lower the number, the more severe. So, yeah. um, she, like the like the one in Alabama was a hurricane. Like the whole, I don't. No matter what Twitter was saying, the whole state of Alabama was not about to get wiped out. But Mobile is about to be gone. <laughs> right. Um. So it's an extinction level event on some scale. Okay, and that's that has been her life though. She's gone mm -hmm. from destruction to destruction and destruction. And if you don't think about it, then it's not a big deal because you're like, okay, well, we know what happens at Pompeii. It's not a big deal, right? It's, but it is. Like this whole... Like that was an extinction event. Like all of Pompeii went extinct. Everybody dies, right? 
and we don't know even how some long dude on a toilet was. just <laughs> imagine wherever that's you, you that's were <laughs> wherever you were you because i don't want to go stupid. i don't want to go when i'm on the toilet just please no. god don't yeah. Remember me different. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just imagine. You're just like, oh, shit. Literally. So we don't know how long she's in these places, though, before the apocalypse, right? Because if you know that this thing is going to happen regardless, Loki made it kind of seem like if you go the day of the event, then it's fine because you can mess anything up. It's all going to wipe out. But that may not be true. Mm. Like, if you yes. know that this is going to wipe out, maybe she was there for years, months. Who knows? You know, who knows? So she may have made friends or relationships or anything along the way. And then she has to know that all of these things are going to die. It has to be a very, very difficult life. But that's the one she's lived. So they're sitting kind of embracing um, or accepting that death is near because they have resolved mm-hmm. that this is it. Sylvie's like, I've lived through all these apocalypse and I'm going to die. Right. Some things and were happening. Some, some things. Some Which is so things. weird. I'm glad they addressed it as brain breaking, but it also the funniest thing I didn't think about, like, that's like the, how much of a narcissist Loki is, is the only <laughs> person he could fall in love with is himself. It, it, it couldn't have been any other way, right? Like, that is so, it's so good. But, but it's perfect because that is the whole, that's the definition. That is what happened to narcissists. He um, fell imagine in if a narcissist met a version of themselves. I <laughs> yeah. guess it would happen. Narcissist fell, I mean, narcissist fell, he fell in love with his reflection. So this is perfect. It's perfect, especially with the whole Norse god and Greek mythology. It's, it's blah. Um, so he falls in love with Sylvie. I guess he's falling in love with Sylvie, right? Something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's easily. And yeah. they've, they're, they've alluded to it. Mobius makes fun of him for it. Yeah. And then the portals open and then we see our, are we calling them our heroes at this point? Our hero and heroine. We see our Lokis captured. Our main yeah, characters. Yeah. Our main yeah. characters. We see our, our protagonists. Yeah, the protagonists. Protagonists. Yeah. Our antagonists, protagonists. We see them captured, and now we know the TVA has them again. Uh, Ravona is, she's she's getting darker, right? Like it, it, it you can kind of see that something mm. about her is it's not. It's more sinister. Yeah, it's not. It's not sweet or, or it's it's giving more than this is my job. It is giving. Mm-hmm. This is what I, me, personally. Doesn't she, Ron, wants doesn't to. she have something, Renslayer has something to do with Kang in the comics? She she does. Mm. You want to give us some? What is it? Mm. Tell us. So, yeah. So she in the comics is working directly underneath like Kang the Conqueror and jumping ahead a bit. That's why I think this show, like, is not going to give us Kang, obviously. But I do think we're going to get a very, very, very direct Kang the Conqueror like um, reference, which will, of course, take us into Fantastic Four, yeah. which is the villain of Fantastic Four. But yeah. but yeah, it, it's it's it's. I all saw inter- a cool theory. I saw a cool theory that I want to I want to get into later. Okay. Okay. When do we see Kang? Is he shirtless? Answer either of those first. I don't. I don't care which one. I need to know. We need put your headphones. Disney, put it back on. Disney, it's what I need. <laughs> we need to know running. So it's since Chris Evans, we can't look at him anymore because he had to go and ignore the civil rights movement. <laughs> we, so do we, we get yeah. a shirtless Jonathan Majors? This is that's all we need. Maybe okay. Pinning it. So um, that's all I'm asking. We get, <laughs> we get Mobius is pissed. Right, he is. He's livid, and I think it's more of a. I trusted you, and you betrayed me. Even though I knew you would, I didn't know you would do. He that believed in him. Yeah, like I knew you could. I knew you were capable. I know it's in your na- nature, but I didn't think you would do that to me because we're friends at this point. But Loki is Loki, and they send him to a prison, a loop, time loop, bad memory, where mm-hmm. Sif just keeps. Punched him in the face and then they gave Black up. Mirror vibes, kind of mm-hmm. like with the like if you've ever seen that, there's like one where they have a prisoner stuck in a time loop in his own mind. Yeah, watch White Bear. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. So it's it's um, mess with you. So Loki, Loki is talking to Moby. Moby is finally pulls him out. And he's lying, of course, you know. And before we get to that though, Mobius asks um, Ravona, 
can he interrogate Sylvie? And she, she says, says no. Mm-hmm. Now, adamantly, is, it's very important that we point that out because this is the first time she's given him a hard no. I think mm-hmm. everything he's asked her for at this point, she's relented. But this, she will, she was not having it at all. Like even, not even lying, like, even lying, saying I don't want to lose you, and you know that wasn't the reason. But I thought it was important to note that all of them were lying. Everybody was lying to each other. Loki was lying to Mobius. Mobius was lying to Loki, and Ravona was lying to Mobius, and then Mobius ended up lying. Everybody was lying, right? Everybody. And this is when we get to the point where Mobius lies to Loki about Sylvie. And you see my sweetheart, his heart breaks for a second. Did y'all see it? Mm. He was really torn up by thinking that Sylvie had died. I keep really. Yeah, it was it was upsetting out. him. Like he was, that's, and that's what I was like. Oh, he's like in love with himself. And that's the funniest part when Mobius was like, of course you love her because, you know. It's just hilarious. Loves. That was hilarious. That was so good. I'm glad they acknowledged I'm glad, that. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I'm and then it was like brain breaking. Mm-hmm. It was brain breaking. I'm so glad they addressed that. I know. But it makes sense. It makes so much sense. Mm-hmm. But it came back to what you said, Courtney. Remember when we were talking about the jet skis? I knew it. I told you. I'm like, he has something. I bet you they, they got him when he was on vacation or something. But the good thing is, is that Mobius even, I think, I think that is honestly one of the first things he went back to because he even mentions it. You know, I had a jet ski because I think there's something even in life. You know how we all have these passions. People in general have a passion. And it may be something you'll never do, but there's something that you've always wanted. There's some kind of nagging thing in you that you want to pursue that never lets go. And for Mobius, it's the jet skis. And for some reason, that thing wouldn't release him. So he knew there was something, something. Now, the odd thing about this all is that um, B-15 is the one who kind of turned it all around. Because if you recall, she was the one who hated Loki the most. And she also is like so into the TVA too. But all it took was her to be enchanted. And she was like, Oh my God. There was something. There was something and I can't let it go. Now, um, did you think that the them telling them they were all variants, did you think that would come out that fast? Or did you think they were gonna kinda draw it out? I thought they were gonna that? draw it out. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it this soon. I mean, it was swift. It was like, hey, you're yeah. all variants. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I figured like Loki might try to tell Mobius, mm-hmm. but Mobius like, eh. But Mobius, I will say he accepted it. He already had suspicions, either. though. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think he, like, one, I think he still believed in Loki. Um, mm-hmm. So I think that helped. And the fact that, like, things had already been kind of shady already, especially with Renslayer. So, and then she had already not let him interrogate the other Loki. And that really had been his project, the whole, like, mm-hmm. his job the whole time. So I was like, why won't you let me interrogate both? It makes sense. And they'd had that conversation earlier. Remember in the library where they have to talk about, there's no way you believe this. Like there's some part of you that's like, this doesn't make sense. And Loki made sure to say, you know, you're lying to yourself. Even the times where he doesn't remember leaving like the, the drink rings on Renslayer's table. It's like that even that seed is there from the first episode where he's just like, why don't I remember doing this? And if, because if you do it so many times, why wouldn't you remember, hey, I might need to put a poster here because she doesn't mm-hmm. like the fact that I leave these rings here. That makes sense. Because maybe every that. time Uh-oh. he starts to think too much, Uh-oh. he gets he reset. He gets reset. And it's very possible that they can reset him because just like Courtney said, they can just go back and grab him from somewhere else. Um, now, the question I have though, they're, they're all variants, which means they are now oh start over. variants are people who are in a timeline they aren't supposed to be in or, or they're about to start a nexus event okay that's what i was gonna say or are they just people who can cause a nexus event and they cut it at the source because someone brought this up because i was kind of looking on the subreddit that the guy do you remember the scene where the guy with the long hair um was being taken in the same time that child sylvie was 
that mm-hmm. guy was in the first episode. That guy was in the, the first episode. He was in the first episode when, uh, or it was the second one when the Nexus events were happening. He was the guy that was like, oh crap, oh crap, everything's going wrong. So um, the, he, he actually, I think, had been in multiple. So he became a TVA worker. So that kind of was like a very subtle, which again, I love it when they're subtle about it way of showing yes this is what they're doing with these variants they take them in just like what they did with loki so, and so, 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 make so, yeah so d let me blend in like multiple like disciplines here like to to like reach out like and talk about like delves again basically about this multi-worlds theory so basically when when loki hopped out of the timeline in avengers endgame because he did that he was always going to do that so that him so he himself is like one of those nexus beings so these people like like the tva monitor these people and they suspect that you're going to basically commit a time crime and they they attempt to grab up all the variants to clean up the timeline because they identify this person sometime in the future on their timeline and they're going to hop out out of the timeline so that's why they try to like clean up all of those different parts you know in the comics isn't loki canonically a, a nexus being now that now that i don't know like, i feel I like at know. least it, i feel like it in, like not in all of them but i feel like there was a it was i feel like reading something mm-hmm. where loki was a nexus being yeah I because mean, it doesn't it have certain... to be the, it doesn't have to be tom hiddleston loki it could just be like yeah this you as like a being like exist in some kind of concept in every single timeline possible mm-hmm. Because there may be one where I don't exist in a certain timeline, but like just like Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, but not Wanda, maybe mm. exists in every single timeline. But Loki um, doesn't have to be like Tom Hiddleston. Loki exists in every single timeline. I- I'm almost certain I saw something, and it would make sense. Now I gather that th- there is, of course, something Sylvie does that is catastrophic to the sacred timeline. Ravonna's going to have to tell us what it is. But it appeared that when Loki and Sylvie were getting close, because I think it's when they touched. Yeah, when they touched, that's what spiked it, and that's where they knew where they were. And it wasn't like it was like a. Is it them? I think it's them. Connection causing. I think it's them falling for each other. Because because think about this too, like the just the existence of one nexus being is like way too damn much. So imagine two. Imagine, imagine two being falling in, the same, in love with yourself. Yeah. And you're imagine two being. being in the same place, same time, falling in love. Like that just. And they're not. Well, he's not supposed to do that either. Yeah, like he's not no. supposed to care about another person like that no. either. So yeah, that's catastrophic to like the the timeline. So that's when we saw like that uptick in the um in the second even timeline, to where it could show up right off. before an apocalypse. Right. That's, right. that's how. That's how crazy it was. We need to calm down. So we get Wait. to. Sorry, I'm, 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 talk, I'm having to babysit my mom's pets. So if you see me fussing at a cat or dog, it, you didn't. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mobius gets Loki because he believes him at this point. He's just like full out, I believe you. And Ravona had Ravona or Renslayer. I'll say the name because Ravona sounds weird. Renslayer's yeah. like, hey, if you could be anywhere at any time, where would you be? And I wonder if she was comes, testing him. She was. It she comes was. back around to where they're face to face, and he's just like, "Screw it, this is it." Because I think he knows her well enough to know he wasn't getting out of it alive. Mm-hmm. He, he knew, he knew. So he just tells her, "I want to be where I was before y'all took me. I was probably on a jet maybe ski. on a jet ski." And she just like in the coldest way ever says, prune him. And even though you can see in her face that it affects her, because it obviously does. Um, what was there was there some kind of I feel like there kind of was because they kept saying this friendship deserves to be whatever. And I'm like, friendship? Is it a friendship? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway. Because, because let me let me say let me talk this toss this out here too. So, I think obviously Ren Slayer isn't a variant, but we know that Mobius is. So maybe a variant of Mobius, you know, once upon a time they had a little. You <gasps> maybe so that maybe that's why she has an emotional attachment. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. You're, you're not you're not my only analyst. <laughs> she says. 
He's like, but you're my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> favorite. Okay. So she does. And I freaked out. Right. I, I just like, there's wait a minute. Cause no. And I want to say, I want to point out, um, shouts out to game of Thrones. I know, I know, I know, but they have the, the way they had no problem killing off main characters has exactly. set a tone mm-hmm. for other stuff. It changed. So, it changed TV shows forever. It did. So people it, forget. You you're like main characters never die ever never unless die. it's like the very end. And even that was like maybe so they could have a soap opera return. But mm-hmm. now because of that, there's still the feeling like I've never. I always think that this is possibly the end, right? Like they could not come back. Before it was like, oh, they're not dead. There's no way they could be really dead. Like this is this is even though we kind of know, even though we kind of know, but it's still like it makes you kind of it it gives you pause. Like there's still a a chance that they die. So Mobius is dead. I'm freaking out. I'm sad, and I don't know what to do. And (laughs) they take him away. They have Sylvie. They have Loki and Renslayer knows that Sylvie um, has taken B-15 because her hair is wet. Mm-hmm. So she knows something happened and she wants to know who it is. So now Sylvie, I mean, B-15 is full out. I looked happy. I know she has seen her memories just like Hunter C-20 and she is pissed at this point. Mm-hmm. She, she remembers alive. the time where she was transformed into a white woman. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what happened to Ruby. Full yeah. circle, right? So yeah. she's tired of being lied to, okay? And they go and they meet these infamous timekeepers. How many are there? There are three. And they look weird. Like so, Muppets. No, whatever. They kind of look and like Muppets. Before they get there, though, um, Sylvie asks, Renslayer, what was the event? What did I cause? What did I do? And she's like, I don't remember. In an act of cruelty, you could tell she was trying, like, because she had a smirk on her face, and she was like, I don't even remember. Almost like it was insignificant. Why do you care? We could tell. I could tell. She's lying. You've been freaked out about her since you saw her. Like this whole episode has shown how how nervous you were seeing her, having her back, the fact that she got away from you the first time. All of that is coming. So this fake bravado is BS. You know exactly what she did. He gets to the timekeepers and they're, you know, having a time in their lives and they're about to die. Right? But somebody comes in and save the day. It's Ruby. It's Ruby. B15 comes in and throws them their, whatever the weapon is. Oh, she takes their... The little st- stabby thing. Uh, collar, you know, whatever. You know, she, the, the she, collar. She disables it and they're able to do what they do. They fight and all this stuff, and Ruby, I'm not sorry, not Ruby, Sylvie gets the best of Renslayer, and she knocks her out. You should always, you all always time. have to kill them. I'm just, you, this yeah. is like, why do you not, it, it's just, it, back to Game of Thrones, like with Pedro Pascal, finish the job. Watch I knew it, land. and I'm just like, that wasn't, Double watch Zombie Land, exactly. Get it done. <laughs> so this is done, and then they knock the head off the time the main And Ronnie, my friend Ronnie, what did you say? When we first started this, you said, I think the timekeepers are what? Just like this other film, The Wizard of Oz. He said- Yeah, we said that we're like, it's going to be a man behind the curtain. Man behind the curtain. And what do we get? A freaking android. Anytime right? you They're see not- like something like queered and statues, it's like yeah. it's not gonna be what you think it is. So when this happens though, Loki looks to me, I don't know if y'all know this, but he looked deflated, like, wait, this isn't it. This this is because they got bested. Who who's the timekeeper for the timekeeper? Like where where do we go from here? Because we who's thought the this real was villain. It. And my boy has a moment. Right, he's he's getting sentimental. He's feeling something. He doesn't know how to express it. And while he's trying to find his words, Renslayer gets up and prunes Loki. Okay, let me tell y'all something about me. I freaked out. Okay, but I did. 
<laughs> I, I knew. I, I, I would say I was not expecting it. I lost it. I mean, I knew it wasn't it, but I I'm also like it. technically, it's like what we said at the beginning. Like Loki means all the Lokis. I thought it was it. I thought it was it. At this moment, Tammy was like, "Oh my god!" I had to turn yeah. to her and, and be like, "Hey, look." They I was like, not- "This isn't the first time he's died." No, no, not even that. I was like, "They are not going to kill off Tom Hiddleston on episode four of his first <sighs> TV show in Marvel. They are not going to kill him off that easy." So that's when I knew that that okay, Mobius has to be somewhere because they're not going to kill off Tom Hiddleston either. So I was happy with I- because of that. I'm like, okay, if he's alive, Mobius alive. But are we sure? Like, maybe Loki's alive because he's a Loki. Hey, Ron. Hmm? Do you think this is that, like, what is it? It's like a limbo zone where people fight to the death. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Because I thought that, because I'm like, I forgot. Because if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, the Gator Loki, and I'm just like, Kang is, yeah. Kang was caught in limbo. Because it's like in between the timelines. It's not like its own timeline. And like, that's where you go when you're, there's nowhere else for you to go. If I'm not mistaken, Kang was caught in limbo once. I can't remember like which run, but I remember Kang was caught in, was caught in limbo. So yeah, this is, this is actually. I have to say, hey, my podcast. Hey, 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 mama. Hey. How are y'all? See, Ron. How are you doing? I'm glad to see you both, Ron. Happy birthday again. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) I like your nail polish. Thank you. (laughs) Did you like the episode, Mom? I did. It was good. Did you? What do you think happened to Loki, real quick? Because that's what we're talking about. Well, he went to that alternate universe. Mm -hmm. Did you think? Did you? Yeah, yeah. Did you think he was actually dead? No. Okay. All right. I let her get busy. (laughs) they fooled me and and even though it was temporary like my brain was like okay she was like i'm gonna haunt walt disney's grave if if he's a tom (laughs) hill exactly i'm I'm shaking i'm shaking the table but but i'm like they can do this they should not do this AJ will be on a different episode. Cause he's all into this comic stuff. Okay, bye. <laughs> Can we please cut that as a clip? <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to meme that. We're going to meme that. Yeah. Um, but, but like, I'm thinking they can do it, right? Because the show is called Loki, and Sylvie is a Loki. They should not do it because I am invested in the show because of Tom. Because that's me. But they they really had they had me because it would have been bold if they have done if they that would have been bold. and said this is Sylvie's story now that would have been bold yeah I like, I is, wouldn't have been mad at that though yeah yeah I would not be. yeah because she's because she's still very much alive and she has Renslayer at this point like Renslayer's like just just do it whatever you're gonna just prove me pretty much and she's like no you gotta tell me everything and then we get credit so I'm like. I knew no, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, but thankfully, because, we of my disbelief, because my heart was broken and I could not settle it. And whatever that song was playing was perfect because I'm like, don't they know this is the end of the world? That's the song I should have played. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, this is it. This is it. But then, thankfully, my boy was lying there and he opened his eyes. And then who did he see? Hey, AJ. Loki's <laughs> Loki's was plural, like specifically the alligator Loki. It was actually, it was actually four. It was four. So it was shout out to Richard E. Grant. I'm glad he's a Loki. Old Loki. Yeah. Then we had um, kid the, Loki. Yeah, kid Loki, alligator Loki. <laughs> that was great. Um, what else? What other Loki? There was a. There, and the old the Loki black, was like in like a the very first Loki. The very costume, first Loki costume, which is yeah. cool. It, I, I, I'm I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know who the Black Loki is, but he had a Thor's. He had a Melonier. Yeah, he had a hammer. He had a hammer, which is Pioneer. Melonier. Melonier. But I'm not Norse. I can't. But he said, "Am I dead?" And they said, "Not yet." You will be. But yeah, you will be unless you listen so to So I say, how many Lokis are there? Which makes me believe he's a Nexus being if there's like. She is. He because is. just just like we said before, like these people, they're 
They're you plucked see? by the TVA because they keep jumping out of timelines. Like so no matter maybe which that's version why. of them. Because there's one across all timelines and mm -hmm. they're like, uh uh. Exactly, exactly. Which yeah. can I talk about the theory? So the theory, because the connection with Renslayer and Kang is that the sake that this is like somehow like Renslayer is kind of actually pulling the strings and possibly Kang, because this sacred timeline is the one that leads to Kang being born. That ties. I saw that and I was like, that ties into what AJ said like, earlier. Oh. That tied into okay, what AJ, AJ said. said or, AJ Wouldn't that said, make sense though? AJ said that we may potentially get um, Young Kang, and, and by the way, we're we're saying we're saying Kang, but let's put some context on this. Kang's real name, well, at least the version that I think we're going to get, is Nathaniel Richards. Mm -hmm. um, so he is he's a, a descendant, descendant of, of Reed, Reed Richards, Richards, but in the future. So he comes like, from the thirty first century, mm -hmm. way yeah, in the Reed future. Richards? Who's yeah. Reed Richards? Uh, Fantastic Four. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. He, was Fantastic. Just, he was Jessica Alba's husband. <laughs> I want to mention when <laughs> you said to me, I want to say maybe the first episode that um that that's where they were at mm -hmm. one point. That that zone that Courtney was they, talking about. The no before, time zone. Yeah. That that's where the Fantastic Four were. So it it makes sense. It makes so, sense. What I'm saying. I would like and, my mind went. And I think, and I think, <laughs> okay. walk walk with me here, like. I think when we finally do get that Fantastic Four movie, it's not going to be an origin story. They have been around the whole time, but they have been placed into the Noah time zone. Mm. Because, because this, okay, so Kang is going to be the villain of Quantum Mania, and Quantum Mania comes right before the Fantastic Four movie. Okay. Do you okay. think that they're gonna help try to try to get out? Because I'm sure that's where all the variants went. Personally, that's I think that's where everyone went. Do you mm -hmm. think they're gonna kind of try to help enlist people and in, in using the Fantastic Four, maybe or at least a, some kind of hint towards that to get? Because they're gonna have to find a way to get out. Yeah. So I do think we're going to get like a very like on the nose Kang reference, and then we're going to get like a very on the nose like. Fantastic Four reference. It's, it's going to be like a little like, okay, it's coming. Like, here it is. We're going to tell you it's coming, but it's not going to be, of course, like, we're not going to see like Free Richards pop out, but, you know, it's going to be like, hey, this is something to let you know that they're coming. Like, or they may be here already. Oh, no. So the potential shirtless Jonathan Majors is going to be in the next movie. Also, just to brace you trolls out there, if Jonathan Majors is Kang, Prepare yourself for Black Reed Richards. I'm going to keep saying that. Like, yeah. You could get mad about it all you want to, but Reed Richards is going to be Black and Fantastic Four. Like, I would actually be shocked if he isn't. I would actually be shocked What's if Reed body? Richards is a Black. Right. Is he going to be himself or is he going to be CGI? Is he going to be like Thanos? Because uh, you know what you know what Kang looks like, right, dude? Like he, he's, kind of, he's kind of he's kind of like blue and purplish. So yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, as long right. as he's as he has abdominal muscles, right? Can he like is he gonna be himself <sighs> first and then they like make him into the blue person or is he always gonna be Reed? That else too. Being blue is fine. I, I mean, you know, some transformation is surely going to happen. Maybe, is it like, please, like, please D, please, no, no. <laughs> that was, imagine, no. imagine. That was, that was great. I mean, if D, we can get will that. will you give up the ghost if we have Tom Hiddleston and Jonathan Majors on the same screen? <laughs> Call He's just going to be like. <laughs> just, just, just say she's seen all she needs to see and she's gone on the glory. What else is this Lord, like? I'm ready to come home. I fulfilled my purpose. Oh End it now. Bring me home. <laughs> I'm never coming back here. I'm Call me <laughs> home. You will be back. You love this it. This is what happens yes. when Ron is away for too long. Uh, this is what happens. But I, I think um, we're, we, we had to deal with you and Monica now. Rambo, so don't. Oh, we did. Okay. We okay. did. We did. Okay. So we've got two episodes left, y'all. So, I mean, a lot oh, has happened. Only... Seriously, it feels like the episode. This genuinely gave the energy of the episode before the season finale. Yeah, yeah. It's um, the which which so episode is we're that? We're gonna right? have to have another development episode, the, the, at the, least the, to breathe. The <laughs> so, I wonder oh, yeah, if we're I, gonna get like we're gonna have to get a backstory with the, what is it? What is it again called? I just know what it is. The quantum zone. Yeah, yeah. Um, or I think well, yeah. we're gonna get a backstory episode of that. That has to yeah. be it. 
and the kind of like how we got the backstory episode of like the the purple planet, the, the Lamentus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cool. I'm I'm excited about it. Uh, next week is this is a really good. Brian series. loves an ultimate episode, so he'll probably be here next week. I'm, I'm I might be here. Who knows? They're typically the best, though, right? They are. They are. Typically. They are. They are. They're the best episode because the last episode has to almost like wrap everything up. Mm-hmm. So they get to get, you get a lot of stuff. In the Do you think we'll get a season really two of this? <sighs> Depends on how it ends. I'm not I against just, it because, you know. I just would like to see adventures of different Lokis. So, so okay. So has Tom Hiddleston been confirmed, but for, um, Loki, um, Love and Thunder. I mean, excuse me, Thor, Love and Thunder. I, I don't, don't know, know, actually. I Let me, I'm going to Google. Is um, Tessa in it or no? She's in it, which... <laughs> um, <laughs> let's... Never mind. That's like an off-air conversation. Tom Hiddleston said okay. he's not in the movie. Hmm. He's not. But okay. he said that he's not in the movie. It could be different Loki. <laughs> But how can he be in a movie if he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. Because like, he's, he's dead. Because this but Loki is still have, like before that. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. We have like variant Loki though. True. And we have him with with a device where he can hop, you know. He can go wherever he wants yeah. to go. Does he have a tempad now? Does he have the tempad? Mm-hmm, he I doesn't. Know. I'm pretty sure it would have been confiscated. Because she, she pruned him and he's just there. You're right. So the one he had was broken, and then Ravona or Renslayer took took hers and Mobius's. Mm-hmm. So he, he doesn't have one now. Um, Sylvie may get Renslayer's tempad because she's got Ravona at this point. So Sylvie can probably do whatever she wants, especially mm-hmm. when she gets Renslayer to sl- to tell her everything. What do you think is her event? If you had to guess, what did she do? That made them go and in, in, what was her nexus event? Her being Sylvie, what's her nexus event that made them go? And was it because her? she's a she Loki? Yeah, I, I feel like it's what we. I'm I feel wondering. Like it's what we're seeing I right like, now. I, yeah, I feel like yeah. I feel like it's what we're seeing. I, I feel like it's one of those things where you, it's like a self fulfilling prophecy mm-hmm. where they're creating the problem they're trying to avoid. So the whole like how Cersei it time, ends up getting all her kids killed because she's was yeah. afraid of a prophecy. Pretty much that. So the whole thing with them getting to the timekeepers and her cutting their head off, that's what they were trying to avoid. And if so, why would they present them to the timekeepers? Why not just prune her? No, I see. I think they knew that would happen, which is why the robots in the first place. Okay. Cause you don't I have think... to worry about it. I, I, I think there's I think Renslayer may have saw somehow Lady Loki and our Loki somehow like a convergence between them and like you said Corey it's almost like the self-fulfilling prophecy like trying to keep them apart is actually what's bringing them together I feel like that's what she saw like because I mean this is a Disney show after all so I feel like that's what she saw and I mean, or maybe very... because it's a lady Loki, it's a completely different relationship with Thor. Who knows? It could be something about that. I don't think maybe I don't think Frigga is actually dead. <laughs> Who knows? No. But I think it's because she's like, oh, we see some cross between variants. And she probably chalked it up to it just being like Loki foolishness, but it mm-hmm. didn't see that it was her own doing. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm interested to find out. I think we'll know a lot more next week and we'll be here to talk about it. So please join us. Mm-hmm. Ronnie, thanks yes. for coming. I, I might be it back. It sounds like we're going to have to have AJ on here before my mom gets very upset. Yeah, AJ, AJ. AJ already said expect to see him for the finale because, yeah. No. My He'll mom is here. asking. But we appreciate you tuning in as always. And until next week, peace. Bye.